Predictive brand engagement, harnessing the emotion that drives your brand. On strategy communications and ad testing and brand to media engagement optimization. There is little argument these days with David Ogilvy. Marketers everywhere have accepted not only that consumer decision-making is more emotional than rational, but that getting at what's driving those emotions is impossible using direct questioning. Even B2B brands understand that there are emotional connections at work in the decision process. The old saying, no one ever got fired for buying IBM, is perhaps one of the best examples of the strong emotions underlying business decision-making. This shift for the consumer, from the rational to the emotional, puts psychology front and center when it comes to measuring the real drivers of consumer decision-making. The Brand Keys methodology was built with archetypal psychology as its foundation, building on the work of the father of archetypes, Carl Jung, Freud's most famous student, best known for his work in personifying emotions in order to understand their underlying dynamics. The same theoretical foundation is used worldwide to understand human behavior. At Brand Keys, we apply this personification technique to brands, using it to understand the innate, unconscious processes involved in decision-making, a technique independently validated by the Advertising Research Foundation and numerous published case studies. Those emotional metrics, on their own, would require researcher interpretation. To avoid that subjectivity and make the model completely consumer-centric, the emotional metrics are fused with category-specific items. Those attributes, benefits, and values then give category relevancy and structure to the emotions driving consumer decision-making. Thus, an unconscious emotional driver like safety is illuminated with relevant category meaning for the brand, perhaps translating into items around the idea of trust or guarantees. But the Brand Keys methodology was not built for educational purposes. Answers are only useful if they respond to the questions that keep a brand healthy and strong. All findings are focused on understanding if and how the brand is beneficiary of the exercise, what they can tell the brand about where it should be going, not where it has been, that the output can be easily shared with those who do not have a research background, and always uses the ideal as the ultimate benchmark, that emotional and rational yardstick the consumer uses to measure brands against. For a long time, brands have become accustomed to evaluating performance against an average, which is always built from what happened in the past. While averages can be useful, they are extremely limited and offer no insight about the future. The ideal the consumer holds for a category is what Brand Keys uses to measure brand performance, and everything the brand does, from media strategy to advertising evaluation. The ideal is what the consumer brings to the category and plants the brand firmly in the consumer's view of the world before looking at their brand. This consumer-focused view is critical to understanding where to aim the brand for the greatest payoff. Brand Keys uses a four-dimensional model of the ideal. The first dimension is to understand what the drivers are in the category and their order of importance. But the drivers are not simply named by us. They are named based on their components, components put there by the way the consumers answered both the emotional and the rational questions. This is the second dimension of the model that gives granularity to the drivers and allows brands to get very specific. Those driver components, the category attributes, benefits, and values seen previously on the right-hand side of the model, are, like the drivers themselves, ordered by percent contribution each item makes to engagement. This information allows the brand to get very specific in its efforts. And the third dimension assigns a value to those drivers that allows the brand to understand exactly how much importance is attributed to each driver and the percent contribution each makes to brand engagement. 
But knowing what is important in a category is not a complete picture. Often things can be important, but cost of entry to a category, much as safety is in the airline category. In this example of the ideal out-of-home coffee provider, location and value is not where consumer expectations are strongest and where a brand can best differentiate. That must be satisfied first, but it is expected. To understand the critical differentiating aspect of the category, you need a fourth dimension, consumer expectations. The height of the bars tells us that it's the service and surroundings driver where a coffee provider can dig for differentiating gold. Taken together, these four dimensions offer a complete view of the consumer ideal, an ideal that changes for every category a consumer approaches. Let's take a look at how we use the Brand Keys methodology to help brands create communications that are strategically sound, test them against a consumer ideal in the category, and explore how to optimize media. When it comes to measuring advertising performance, a very necessary but extremely insufficient condition of its success is its ability to be noticed. Yes, of course, it must be seen. But to equate that with success is not unlike stopping at the interview when looking for a job. The job that advertising is actually hired to do is not simply to be seen. It must engage the consumer and move it closer to the brand. The Brand Keys personification technique, discussed in depth in our brand equity engagement presentation, is used to measure whether or not the advertising has indeed done its strategic job. Using the consumer ideal is a true strategic test for any advertising. As seen in this example, the results of two digital campaigns the consumer is exposed to help the brand determine which campaign is the most effective. Done at the concept stage, this demonstrates that it's campaign A that works hardest in the most important driver with high consumer expectations, allowing the brand to choose wisely when determining which to take forward to development. The advertising can then be tested again after development to be sure that the salient features that made it so resonant as a concept were kept intact in final or near final form. These same metrics serve as a benchmark for tracking the advertising performance in market as well. Optimizing media buying from a brand engagement perspective is a key concern of many of our clients. As we conduct brand to media engagement studies, our clients use these metrics to predict increases in ad awareness and attention, positive behavior in the marketplace, increased levels of brand strength and viral potency, and, most important of all, sales. This actual case study featuring the strategic media application for the Dove Campaign for Real Beauty demonstrates Brand Key's brand to media application in action. At the time, there were 26 touch points being considered by Dove. Of those, 14 of them were used. These are the percent contribution to engagement that each media touch point made in Dove's category. This application can be used for any number of media touch points, both traditional, digital, and even experimental with a description. The Brand to Media Assessment Validation Study compared the brand key's percent contribution on an additive basis of those touch points that consumers told us through proven recall where they had been exposed to Dove's advertising. These summative percent contributions were compared to the average 60-day purchase of Dove Soap. The correlation between purchases and our predictive media contribution metrics was 0 0.779, a correlation for those non-researchers out there that would have social scientists, who normally hope for a correlation in the 0 0.30 range, ordering in the champagne, and are rarely seen in non-engagement-based research approaches. Media can also be viewed, using the Brand Keys brand to media model, to choose the best fit when it comes to programming. In this case study, 
Target Stores asked us to look at the impact to the Target brand of advertising on some of the programs it was considering. All programs that had the right demographics, but from a co-branding perspective might, and indeed did, touch the brand differently. In this example, Dancing with the Stars was a great fit, lifting the Target brand most strongly, while The View did nothing but offer exposure and The Closer actually had a negative effect on brand equity. The in-market results of this strategic media buying? Target ran a promo spot on all three programs. Awareness, a necessary but not sufficient measure of success, was strong for Dancing with the Stars. But critically, the brand strength rating predicted a higher level of visits to the stores, a lift in viral levels, and most importantly, higher sales. Correlations bear out the strength of these metrics when it comes to making the shift away from demographic-based media buying to a validated, engagement-based approach to get the most for your media dollars. Some brands have used these metrics effectively to shape far more effective cost structures with the media platforms as well. As we continue to work with clients around the world, we find hardworking people doing their absolute best to help brands succeed. But as Deming points out so well, knowing what to do, how to focus the energy of those brand and agency teams is the shortest, quickest, and surest road to success. We specialize in exactly that, in helping brands know what to do as they go forward into the future. We specialize in the brand equity and engagement metrics that make sense of the category drivers. These metrics have been proven to be predictive of in-market performance and to correlate very highly with sales and profitability. We believe the success of this methodology is due to its foundation in psychology, allowing us to get beneath the radar to understand the emotional and rational factors driving the category, using that consumer ideal to measure the impact of any media, marketing, or communications initiative. Our independent validations include a recent financial equity analysis done by 24-7 Wall Street, identifying a near-perfect matchup of the brand's brand keys identified as best meeting consumer expectations with market leadership. Aquitung Capital Advisors, an independent equity valuation firm, examined the correlation between our rankings and brand value, resulting in extremely high correlations across 10 different categories they examined. And the Advertising Research Foundation conducted a first opinion review of brand keys methodology resulting in the coveted seal of approval from this leading industry organization, validating that the method does indeed do what we say it does. We conduct research worldwide and have been doing so since 1984, and we are proud to call some of the world's largest brands our clients. Brand Keys is the only research consultancy in the United States to have all three of its principles honored with a Great Mind Award from the Advertising Research Foundation, all for innovation as the methodology has been applied to the most pressing needs of brands today. The methodology is open sourced in Predicting Market Success, written by Brand Keys founder, Dr. Robert Pasikoff, and case studies have been gathered together in a book co-authored by Dr. Pasikoff and Amy Shea entitled The Certainty Principle, which focuses on application of the methodology to media challenges. We speak all over the world on brands and effective measurement. And many of our results are published through our syndicated studies. As demonstrated here, the Customer Loyalty Engagement Index, now in its 17th year, ranks hundreds of brands based on their ability to meet consumer ideals. A new addition to this study, the Digital Platform Engagement Index, for the first time connects consumer engagement with digital communication platforms to consumer engagement with categories, allowing brands to locate the crosshairs of digital technology and brand strategy via our digital platform GPS. Our loyalty leaders list and the leaders in major league sports and retail fashion allow us to deeply understand the major themes and trends across brands and help brands implement them in category. While our syndicated work is well known, our proprietary work is at the core of what we do. 
from predictive category dynamics, as demonstrated in this presentation, to tracking brand health, evaluating advertising communications and helping brands shape them, to working with brands on media applications, both traditional and the newly digital. We use the ideal in our approach at the center of brand architectures to help guide whatever the brand builds to be most effective in the marketplace. Not only are all these applications predictive, they're adaptable. Brand Keys metrics can be easily combined to optimize current research efforts like tracking, media planning, and web listening. Because what Yogi said is more true today than ever, the future ain't what it used to be. We invite you to check out YouTube for demonstrations of some of our other applications, and to visit our website or contact us for a discussion specialized to your needs. Thank you, and we wish you all success.